seafood safety, quality and traceability systems that is being held here at Al Bustan Palace Hotel. And this is organized by the Fisheries Quality Control Center from the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Uh, Mr. Rida Saeed Khalfan Beit Al Faraj, welcome to our discussion. And can you tell us why you thought the organization felt you need a conference of this regard? You're welcome. Um, first of all, the, the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries uh, showing its, uh, its concern about seafood quality and safety by uh, organizing such an event uh, to, to highlight uh, the issues uh, and uh, the problems that facing uh, uh, the production chain regarding the seafood uh, products here in Oman. Uh, the Fisheries Quality Control Center is one of the research uh, centers that, uh, that are working and specialize in uh, uh, detecting uh, and monitoring any issue, safety issues and quality issues in the official uh, uh, products here in, in the country and for regarding also the imported seafood products. The conference aims to, uh, to allow uh, for the experts and the working uh, and, uh, and the, uh, the workers in the, the seafood chain to gather and uh, to exchange uh, the ideas uh, the new innovations and technologies related to the, the quality and, and the safety of, of, the, of uh, seafood. Your Highness Sayed Nabih Talal Tariq Al Said, now uh, could you tell us about the objectives at the same time uh, the experts have come and the topics that are going to be covered? Uh, some of the, um, the objectives of the conference is to review some the policy strategies of seafood quality and traceability and to discuss the scientific achievements of seafood uh, safety quality and traceability and to promote awareness of the importance of seafood safety and quality and public health uh, to explore possible market opportunities uh, in the seafood industry. Uh, we have around uh, 330 countries uh, participating, uh, sorry, 330 participants, uh, around uh, 20, uh, 22, uh, 22 countries participating. Um, we have government bodies and uh, uh, participating in the conference as well as the pri private sector, schools, uh, hospitals, uh, um, uh, as well as supermarket chains, and um, and they're all. We, the main aim as well is to spread the awareness of quality, as mm -hmm. uh, my friend said, uh, Mr. Rilla. Mm -hmm. And um, we have international speakers, uh, keynote speakers, coming to spread the awareness as well. Uh, for example, we have uh, Ms. Linda Park, who's here to uh, uh, talk to us about seafood uh, safety, quality, and traceability. Okay. So this has uh, totally got a very international participation and outlook, and especially all the stakeholders that are related to the fisheries. Dr. Linda Park, you're from Seattle, Washington. You're a research geneticist. Yes. Uh, that is a very interesting field on its own. And is this any way related to the traceability aspect? Yes, yes. My, my laboratory um, actually works with our uh, Office of Law Enforcement, the mm -hmm. Fisheries Office of Law Enforcement, to look at uh, seafood fraud and to um, look at uh, traceability in regards to um, sometimes country of origin, sometimes mm -hmm. population of origin, um, sometimes um, merely species identification. Okay. So what is the message that you're conveying here uh, through your presentation? Well, the, the, the United States is very concerned about the quality of the traceability of seafood, and we are interested in partnering with other countries to, um, to further that goal and to make sure that, that uh, the quality, of, quality and traceability um, goals of each country can be met. And looking at the fisheries uh, of Oman, what is that uh, you think about? Well, actually, so far in the conference, we haven't reached the traceability portion, and so I've been actually quite interested to um, see the upcoming talks mm -hmm. on uh, traceability and to find out what the current concerns are, and that's one of the reasons that I'm here. Why is it important, the traceability? Well, in a lot of um, countries, there are... Um, differences in, in tariffs, there's mm -hmm. difference in also in uh, the quality of the food, and so depending on the country and how they handle their seafood, that could be of concern. Um, in some instances, there are places where fisheries are closed 
for conservation reasons and mm -hmm. it would be illegal to take the species when it's not illegal in other countries. Right. And so it'd be very um, important to know the, the, um, the source of the seafood. Uh, such as, Mr. Radha, like in Oman, we have uh, the lobster season, which has just begun. Yes, exactly. Or the protection of abalone or yellowfin. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, of course, uh, the protection of uh, such a uh, product is, uh, is very important to conserve uh, the wealth and the, uh, to, to, to attain the sustainability of, of our uh, fisheries in, in, in the country. The traceability related to the quality of the product and safety is very important because it ensures the ability to trace the products from its origins, from the fishermen up to the shelf life, of, mm -hmm. uh, to the shelf, sorry, of the, of the market. When the consumer is getting his products from there, we want to ensure that the origin of the products, the process that have, be, have been gone through mm -hmm. the production chain and how it has been handled, is able to be, to, we are able to trace it up to the, to the source. So that in case any problems or in case any kind of fraud system, uh, or fraud issue or mm -hmm. first cases happens, that we can know the source of such problem and we can then resolve it. Thank you. You're welcome. Finally, Your Highness Sayyid Nabih, what would you say uh, will happen to the information that is gathered here with all the experts and how do you uh, hope it will all conclude and eventually reach it to the public? Uh, we are hoping that the conference will benefit the consumer in Oman and uh, to help provide them with safer, high quality products uh, in their house protecting them and their family um, 